AJ from the Moto Academy here, and today I got a cool question. So, we've been practice, practicing the one hand drill a lot lately. He's tack position master, pretty solid with the one hand. And uh, so, he was asking, How do we do tear offs? We picked the biggest jump on the track to give you time, and we're going to try to do it. So, the way that I was describing it to you before we started the video is I always just do a little bit, a little bit of this just to make sure you have it. <laughs> and just get in the habit of pulling sideways. Because when you start wearing laminates, if you pull straight, it's gonna take the whole pack off. So make sure you pull across. If you want to just do a couple jumps where you practice just the hand coming off first, you could even practice just hand coming to head. You could even just practice hand coming to goggles and just feeling around. You don't have to pull right away. Okay. The biggest thing I'll tell you is that you don't have to rush it. You know you can land one-handed. Yeah. So if you know you can land one-handed, then there's no rush. Yeah. Right? And don't be in a rush to take the hand off. Take off with two. Make sure all is well. Make sure you're going to downside it correctly. You got the pitch of the bike right. You really, that hand should be coming off like at the height of your jump. And that's why we picked the pick one. Sorry about that. Hey, perfect practice run. It was a little bit there's a lot, a lot of moving parts. Just make sure you look, you're looking further ahead because I want to make sure that these hooligans aren't hunting on the track or doing anything weird. So when you come over the tabletops and you're coming over that ski jump, turn your head and just make sure your coast is clear, right? Yeah. What I would do is aim to go, you kind of grease the very top of this every time. Yeah. Go a couple feet longer. You got a whole landing to work with. Okay. If you went five feet longer, you'd have even more hang time to make that happen. But that was a good reach. I bet you we got the pull this time. So you've never done a tear-off pull in the air, right? Okay. This is it. This is the one. I'm feeling it. Dude, that was better than I do it. That was awesome. It fluttered away like very dramatically. That was perfect. Um, I almost could recover that one and put it back on. Can we get another one on to practice? And we'll just do two or three to make sure you got it dialed. Did you find it right away? Cool. So that was his first tear off pull in the air. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, this will be good practice. So he started with just one for the first one. Now we're going to put two on. Fold it back the right way, how I described in the, in the first shot. And uh, yeah, now the challenge is going to be don't grab both of them at once. I used to have to put one on the right and one on the left. I remember which one I put on first. Because if not, I would pull both of them at the same time. <laughs> Uh, and that is actually a thing. So what Brett just said is sometimes you put one on each side, uh, especially if it's like muddy or something, you can put one on, or even if people have roll-offs, they'll put a couple of tear-offs on on top of the roll-offs to pull it and then have clear vision for the roll. Okay, so we're set. We got two on there. Let's see it, one at a time. You got one left, nicely done. Did you miss it the first time or did you feel around? Yes. Oh, you did? So by the way, it's very it's very normal to miss it the first time because I, again, always err on the side of like, let's worst case scenario with pulling tear offs in a race situation is pulling all of them, right? And that is the most common mistake. So there's actually, I think a slow-mo video of me in Supercross uh, doing it like multiple times and I don't know if I ever even got it, but I was like, I didn't want to risk pulling them all off, so that was perfect. Do one more for good luck, get the final one, and then we're considering you a tear-off master at that point. Dude, nicely done. Missed it again, but got a second try. Awesome. Awesome. So now what I would do is, like, in a race situation, think about the spots that you could do that where it makes sense, right? Yeah. Just like how you'd have... You'd, hit your marks with your braking and your standing and your sitting, you have a couple of predetermined tear-off pull spots. Yeah. The better you are at the one-hand drill, the easier it is to be able to do tear-offs whenever and wherever you want. But yeah, very nicely done. I like it.